Hello, my name is Fulvio Urso Bayarda. I'm a plastic surgeon based in Berkshire. And one of the questions I'm, re I'm really frequently asked is about sizing breast implants for someone wanting breast augmentation. Um, and everyone handles this in slightly different ways, and I guess there's no right or wrong answer. The approach we take is a three-step process based on history and examination, um, based on your physical measurements and the use of external sizes, and based on 3D simulation. Not everyone has all of those facilities available, and of those uh, three processes, the one that is absolutely critical, I think, is history and examination. And the way that you can size a breast implant in general terms based on that is like this. Here is a breast implant, and it has three dimensions like any 3D object. So it has width, height, and projection, which is how much it sticks out. In this case, this happens to be a round implant, so its width and height are the same. But for teardrop implants, that needn't be the case. They can be wider than they are tall, or they can be taller than they are wide. So the important principle is that you want the width of the breast implant to be around the same width as the footprint of your breast itself. And this is measured during examination. And the reason for that is, if it is uh, larger than that, then you will probably see the edge of the implant on the inside of the breast or the outside or both. And if it's very much smaller, um, that's less of a problem, but it can, it, it's more likely that you'll have too large a pocket for the implant and it will move around maybe more than you want. So you measure the uh, breast base width, your own breast base width, and compare that to the available implants. And that will give you a range of choices. The height is less important to match. You can exceed the height of your, your breast um, if you wish, and you can position the implant up and down on the chest wall itself. And then that leaves you with a bit of flexibility as to the projection of the implant. So depending on what volume you would like to have, you can make it a very uh, minimally projecting implant or it can be increasingly projecting. And that way you get to choose from a range of breast implant volumes with an implant that fits your body. Hope that's helpful.